Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your continued love and support. I really appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. This is a timeless collective reading for all signs. This could be your story or the story of someone else who may be in your energy knowingly or unknowingly. Okay, signs and gender are mentioned, but he could be a she, she could be a he. The roles could be reversed. All right, energy is fluid. This could be related to something from the past, a past life, um, current situation, or it may be a future prediction for you. Please only take the messages that resonate. All right. You guys, we have a full moon in Aries coming up. Um, there is a very assertive, masculine-like energy that I feel coming through. Um, yeah, let's see. Oh, bottom of this deck is the Seven of Swords. I haven't used this deck. Ten of Pentacles. If somebody is lying about a family, somebody in your family could be lying. Somebody could be hiding money. All right. There could be secrets, family secrets. Okay. Now, this is a love deck. So, we'll see what comes out. There's an emperor here at the crossroads, two of swords. There's a lot of ooh, decisions being made. I, okay. First of all, I typically don't use this deck, but something told me to use it. And here we are. Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Three of cups. Some type of um, third party situation here. A celebration. A celebration that someone did or a group of some sort here a magic like some kind of ritual possibly that someone was doing it failed this masculine is going to be stuck this person they feel real silly because i think this person was trying to have you stuck so that you wouldn't be able to cross the finish line of whatever this karmic cycle is to move on to victory and success you walked away from this situation. It's like you blocked somebody out and now you're focusing on being very like confident, taking care of your business, and you're about to go into a connection with someone new. Yeah. There's a, a masculine energy here that you're going to be moving towards. So I am picking up the energy of two people. Here's the Ace of Wands and the Emperor. Okay. I'm picking up a, a masculine that's very, um, this is a dictator. They're controlling. They're trying to have their way, but you're going towards peace, balance, and harmony. Yeah, the hermit. You've done some soul searching, introspection, healing. You could have been off the grid. It may not be bad for you to go off the grid. Um, the page of cups. This page of cups has something to do with um, someone's psychic gifts. Some of you, a person, I'm, I'm picking up two very distinctive energies. Some of you, somebody ghosted you or they turned their back on you and they could have even turned to something that was dark. This person could have lied to you about a child. They could have turned their back on you because they have children with another person. Yeah, the king of cups and the hangman. For some of you, yeah, somebody, they're stuck somewhere, but possibly because of children. Somebody is hiding a whole family. They're hiding the truth about a family, but you have the ten of cups here and the ten of pentacles. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Here's a, the king of cups. The hangman, the moon, the ten of cups, the ten of pentacles, the ten of wands, ten, 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 justice. Page of wands, very exciting news coming. 
Four of Pentacles, the Lovers, Temperance, Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Magician, Six of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, the Emperor, Three of Cups. All right. Somebody could have turned their back on you. They could have ghosted you. Okay. Or somebody, or this is you, you've turned your back on someone and you're going within doing a lot of deep healing and introspection. You could be healing your own inner child with the page of cups here. There's, but okay. There is a masculine here who's actually on the more positive side of things. There is a masculine out here who's doing a lot of soul searching, healing, and they are going through an awakening. The hangman is in the, in the reverse. So if this person has been under some kind of illusion, confused about something, dealing with their own inner child wounds, issues, obstacles, challenges, whatever it may be, this person, somebody could have actually walked away from you or there could have been some kind of um, separation. This person needed to get the truth and clarity about something. Now, I just finished doing a reading and it felt very much like um, there is some kind of prophecy playing out here. It feels like a divine feminine is for sure waking up to the truth about some a demon in their life that has been blocking them from forward movement, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. This seems to be picking up on a masculine. Again, the full moon in Aries is coming up in a few days. Aries being like the emperor energy, masculine energy. You have a masculine that is waking up fully to themselves, to their potential, and to a connection. This person can't hold. Also, the page of cups of the king of cups. Someone's love just grows almost overnight. A person could have water in their moon sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They could have Virgo somewhere. So this person is very introverted. They also... um. Are, are very knowledgeable, very wise. This person tends to go off the grid. I'm picking up this could be the kind of person that likes to travel alone. This person may enjoy reading. This person likes water. They like reading. They. This is a very um. This is a very very mystical man that I'm picking up on. I'm talking. This person is very. Tapped in. Very. This person is, is fearless. They're not afraid of anything. Like, they're not afraid to be alone. They know a lot about a lot. Page of Cups, King of Cups. But something has happened where this person's intuition has grown. This person really likes to be around water. Now, I'll have to clarify because when you, when you start dealing with any person now that is tapped in you have to figure out what are they using their gifts for because this person is is definitely connected to the elements but they're coming into some kind of awakening here the ten of pentacles and the ten of wands somebody is seeing possibly that a family is a burden Ten of Pentacles. Somebody has been carrying a lot when it comes to family, money, traditions. The Ten of Wands here. And then the Ten of Cups. That's three tens with justice. Libra season. Something is being balanced out. The Page of Wands. This is some very um, exciting news that's about to come in when it comes to this situation. The Four of Pentacles. Someone has been discontent, bored. In a situation, also there could be some kind of third party situation for some. Somebody could be watching you or someone is watching them. I'm here. Somebody is watching them watch you. The lovers, the temperance, yeah. Somebody is making a choice. So it is some kind of third party situation. Someone is making a choice. They want peace, balance, and harmony. And it feels like they're choosing somebody that they're not with. 
I mean that they're they're choose yeah they're choosing someone that they're not with. Somebody is leaving a situation to go on and be with a person that they feel they can have everything with. Threes, mind, body, spirit. They they want a connection that has them completely and totally aligned. This person is not with this moon energy out here. This is nothing physical with this person. Mm mm. And spirit just made it clear to me, for a lot of you, this is not a past person. This is someone that you are dealing with or about to meet. This person has done some kind of soul searching or healing, gone through a dark night of the soul. When it comes to love, they don't care anything about, I'm not going to say they don't care at all, but they're looking for a spiritual connection. I don't know what made this person go on this journey, but it had to have been something real hard and heavy because the type of clarity that this person has at this point, I'm going to be honest, reading it, it's, it's not like intimidating, but it's the kind of energy where it almost feels too good to be true because this person, they're so clear. They're so intentional. They're so clear. And the hangman to me is like Aquarius Pisces energy. This person could actually be the type to be very detached. With the hangman and the hermit out here, this person will just kind of detach out of nowhere. And they will go deep within. Or they've done this to you. They just detached. You could have ghosted them or something. This person had like a level up overnight. Ace of Pentacles here. And the magician. Yeah. This person is manifesting a major offer. Ten of Cups. They Ten of Cups clarify with the Six of Swords. They're like, yeah, we're moving forward. The Justice card here. This person, um, if they were married or something before or going through any kind of legal situation, they, they may have been moving slowly, taking a very um, systematic, methodical approach to this. Something has been balanced out or the universe just wouldn't allow this to move too fast because something did need to be balanced out. The emperor, exciting news is coming to this emperor. This emperor is about to have a major upgrade in their life. Yeah, the four of pentacles, the three of cups. Somebody is aware that this person is coming towards you. And they're disappointed by it. The four of pentacles and the five. Look at this. The four of pentacles, right? Somebody, you see this lady looking here. This is somebody looking over a person's shoulder, eaves, eavesdropping. Okay, because they know that there's another person, the lovers. Somebody knows that a person is going towards like they're happily ever after. Eight of Pentacles. Child, somebody could be leaving a person for someone of the same sex. That's certainly not everyone's story. But the Four of Pentacles is being clarified here with this Three of Cups. Somebody already knows that a person has gone out and they've met somebody. Or somebody could be like friends with someone Whoever they were in some kind of long-term relationship with or married to or whatever, that person knows that they're about to go towards someone that they met while they were out. Somebody knows that their person of interest or their partner has met someone out. And whoever someone has met out, it could be you. They, they want to put the work in to like having a family. So I'm going to be completely honest. For some of you, you're meeting the love of your life and one of you could have been in a relationship where I, when you met. I feel like it was a relationship where somebody was burdened and unhappy and already on their way out the door with the justice and the knight of pentacles. Yeah, the ten of cups, somebody was waiting. Ten of cups, six of swords. Somebody was kind of possibly trying to wait until like something balanced out with finances, with family, with children. For a divorce to be finalized, they somebody has gotten the exciting news now that like yeah, the divorce is final, business affairs are taken care of, custody situation something is in place, and this person's like well I really don't care who they their past person thinks they're going towards they don't care they they've already made their choice. Yeah, somebody is disappointed. Because whoever the other person is, they, they've they been released. The Fool, the Two of Swords, and the Five of Cups. Somebody has chosen somebody else. Just simply put. 
if it's somebody has chosen somebody else or you're dealing with the person they're they're about to go back to somebody however it resonates for you two of swords i feel like a lot of you though somebody is choosing to be with you and, and they're they're leaving a lot behind to do it Six of Swords, they see victory and success. Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, they see you make them happy. You're independent, self-sufficient, abundant. They want to come towards you with the Knight of Cups with an offer. And yes, they want to give you the world. There's a lot of chemistry and passion here. And they have absolutely rejected whoever this person, other person is. They want no parts to do with someone else that was in their life. Now, when you and this person first met, they could have still been sort of in a relationship, to be honest. But the chemistry and the passion that they feel for you, the happiness, this person is thinking about like life, kids, everything. With King of Wands with the Wands and the, the Sun, Ace of Cups and the marriage. This person, they're coming in to marry you like this is Six of Pentacles. And I'm telling you, this person, they have put somebody literally is putting an end to an entire marriage relationship home stability foundation or whatever because they want to be with you and i don't mean we'll just want to be with you no they want to marry you it's a very very strong connection and someone that they were in a committed relationship with engaged to or married to is being left out in the cold it's giving very much like somebody's being left at the altar because this person is going towards their divine feminine eight of wands what i just say Someone is about to communicate with you or something. And what you can expect is for this situation to move forward. It was destined. It was fated for you and this person to meet. Now, again, like I said, how you and this person met. I don't know what lines you and this person have crossed or, or what you will. That's your business. But this person, you know. I don't even want to put that out there. I, I don't want to say like you and somebody, somebody, somebody could have met you in while they were leaving a situation, maybe um, separated from someone going or it was just a very recent breakup. I feel like th this is feeling and I've had a reading like this before. It may have been almost two years ago because I can I can see it and I can remember it. This is one of those situations where like a person, two people get into an argument a person leaves the house, they go to the store, and just, for whatever reason, they see a person of interest to them, you know, most likely just physically, they give the person their number. <laughs> they say, you know, whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm single tonight, I'm free, you know. This person that I'm at home with is about to move out. I'm about to move out. This isn't working. Blah, 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 blah. And boom, it turns out two of wands to be the love of their life. Now, most people looking at the situation will be like, oh, this person is so terrible. No, it's a faded connection here. And it, it didn't start. I don't think it starts out pretty, to be honest. It doesn't start out pretty, but it's very powerful. Six of Pentacles, the Temperance and the Six of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. With the Eight of Pentacles, this person is going to put in some work. And the Tower card here with the Sun, they're putting everything out on the line. Something is being exposed. This person cannot hide how happy they are with somebody else. And for some of you, it's like a, a person is coming into your life. It's a faded connection. There's a child that's coming very soon. This could be unplanned or unexpected, so be careful. This person is leaving one situation and going right into building a life with somebody. And a lot of people won't like it and they won't understand it. But it's what's happening. And I'm t I don't get, there's no negative cards out here. This is not bad. It really is faded. But most people are going to say, how dare you do that? No, it's not bad. The sun, the king of wands, this person is taking action. They're going after who and what they want. Ace of Cups, it's true love with the Hierophant. It is true love. However, I do feel like when this person first, first met you or when you meet this person, there will be a bit of some shifty, imbalanced energy. 
because they could be coming out of something long term. But again, it's like the passion here. I think that for some of you, I see this two of pentacles, the ace of wands, the eight of cups, the seven of wands and the queen of wands. <laughs> when this person saw you or when they see you, because for some of you, this has already happened. It's happening soon in the future, whatever. This person could tell you with communication that they're coming out of a situation or whatever. There could be a lot of passion here. And they could be telling you that someone is moving out. They're moving out or whatever. I feel like you're going to tell this person, well, until that situation is over, there won't be anything between the two of you. It's something here about your boundaries. You definitely could be putting boundaries up to this person when it comes to them trying to sleep with you. Because remember, this person just got out of something. They're not looking for love. They're not. They're not. The death card. They literally, they just walked out of something. They meet you. And I feel like you're like, no. You're not looking for anything. You're not looking for a hookup. That's what they think they're looking for. And then they meet you and they're like, oh, wow. I don't know why I'm getting this. For some of you, this has happened to you. For some of you... This is a, this is maybe a different story. Somebody out here, it's like you met somebody and you guys, you really, really hit it off. But that person may be expecting a child or something like that. And you may... Oh, man. Some of you may find out that a person was juggling you. They met you while somebody was. Expecting or something. I just feel like whatever the situation here is, like something that was meant to be very casual. Turned into way more. Whatever the situation is, a masculine met a divine feminine when they were coming out of another situation. Either they were coming out of a situation with someone who has kids that they have kids with, or as soon as they get into a, a situation with you, you guys are going to get right to having kids. And I feel like that's what is going to really, really um, trigger somebody. Because this person is about to come in and create or, or build, manifest something with you that somebody else had high hopes of having with this person. Or that they did have. I can hear somebody saying he never did this with us. So somebody here does possibly have children already by someone. This could be a situation where two people have been in a relationship for a long time. They could have known each other, been high school sweethearts because I'm getting like all these tens. Somebody could definitely be in their thirties, maybe like forties. And somebody, they could have just, you know, be like, it could be like a common law marriage. They never got married. This person Somebody here, whether it's the, the feminine or this masculine, is going to literally leave something long term and go into a relationship with somebody, have kids and build a life and a family. I don't feel like it's out of spite, malice or anything. It's just faded. It's just what's happening.
it's hard for any for like readings like this because you cannot definitely understand how someone could feel slighted in a situation like this. But somebody is taking control of their life. And I feel like it's just masculine. They're not staying in this situation anymore. It's like on again, off again. This feminine is always saying that they're leaving. They break up. They make up. They come back together because of the kids or the business. It's a, you know, it's a, a trauma bond between the two of them. They both have unhealed. This person, they go out, they meet somebody and they're like, yeah, I'm, le I'm leaving. That's just that. The world is over. The death and the world. Somebody is ending something. They're going through a spiritual upgrade and it's taking them straight to victory and success. Because they've, nine of cups, they found wish fulfillment. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Someone has mental clarity, there's a breakthrough, and yeah, they're moving forward. The Chariot, the Eight of Wands, the Empress. This person is moving forward despite any obstacles, challenges, roadblocks, whatever. They're willing to communicate, drive, fly, travel, or do whatever with this Empress. And yes, they are leaving someone out. Five of Pentacles. Yep. King of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. This person is they're ending a long term committed relationship. Somebody who could actually be divorcing somebody. And they're going right to offering a couple of and a serious commitment. That's going to lead to marriage and possibly a child. And somebody is going to be very, very upset because this, like I said, it could be an unplanned, like unexpected situation, especially if it's a child. Yeah, this masculine, I don't, they don't care. They're like, well, I want. They want to have a child with this new person anyway, with this divine feminine will of fortune. It's karma. It's faded. It's it's like destiny. Two of cups. I'm telling you. Somebody's like, how? Like, how did you get this person? How did y'all move? You know, on or in together so fast or whatever. This I, this person's like, that's my soulmate. And that's just that. They're like, that's my soulmate. Two of Cups. Look, Two of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. The Six of Cups. This could be someone from your past. They're like, no, I'm going to marry my soulmate. I don't care what anybody says. The Strength card, Three of Pentacles. This person wants to take like all of their strength, all of their courage, their might to have a partnership with this high priestess. They're like, I don't care what anybody says. It's a spiritual union. Three of Swords. The Star. Page of Swords. The Four of Cups is in the reverse. Whoa. This this um message is short to the point, but it's not sweet for somebody. Like I said, this situation, it's not pretty, but this is a really, really powerful connection. For some of you, like I said, this is someone from the past. They're coming back. For some of you, this is someone you're meeting and they're leaving everything behind. They they see you as reason for them to just start over. It's like somebody's like, well, I was thinking about starting over, but then they meet you and they're like, yeah, it's it's a go. Let's do it. So somebody here has <laughs> Captivated the heart of someone or been captivated by the heart of someone. Five of Swords, yeah. Somebody is just tired. They're tired of the stress, fear, the, the challenges at home, not having any peace. This person is finally just ready. They're like, let's just go. Will of Fortune, King of Swords, Queen of Swords, Two of Wands. These two people, it's two people who have been telepathically communicating. Four of Swords while separated. And somebody is in their head going crazy about this divine feminine receiving this offer. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say because somebody is ready to start having some really tough conversations. It feels like somebody is about to go and tell somebody like, listen. 
I'm, I'm, this person is very direct. I don't feel like they've always been direct. This person is like, listen, I'm moving out. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And if this person says, well, are you going to be with this person? They're like, yes, I am. I mean, very straight. This person, they're not being mean or rude, but they're being very direct. King of Swords. This person, I'm this person literally, these people are getting into some kind of argument, pointing the finger, tit for tat. They're tired of fussing fighting over these kids, the wheel of fortune. This king of swords is just like, you know what? I'm so tired of this arguing. They already met somebody that they like, and that's like they could have met someone traveling that they feel like this new person or you or whatever is. A breath of fresh air and they're like Shh, forget this like i'm leaving they're like why should i stay here and continuously deal with this situation and i just heard somebody say i'm cheating anyway oh okay so for somebody it is a third party situation or this person i don't know if they're physically cheating but somebody is definitely emotionally cheating because they this person has met someone that is peaceful that they feel brings them peace four pinnacles they don't want to let if this is you, they don't want to let you go. This person is holding on tightly to this new connection. I mean, they're not letting it go. The temperance with the ace of cups, the hierophant, this person's like, no, this is a keeper. I don't care about where I came from. I know exactly where I'm going. And they're not, yeah, justice. <laughs> That's the truth. Somebody's being very honest. And there could be a divorce. Wow. The truth, the king of swords again. Somebody here could be very structured, very disciplined. Like they have a certain routine. They are very, very direct. This is the kind of person who makes head over hard decisions very like wise and analytical not not in this case mm -mm. this part this super cold analytical person page of wands they, this person you know how older people say that um she got his nose wide open this usually like cold callous person they're so into this new person they don't know what's they're they're happy they're feeling optimistic, enthusiastic, like they feel like they walking on clouds. Hangman, this person is just in La La Land. This person has never felt like this before. <laughs> Peter Pan energy for sure. Yeah, security. So this person, they're saying security, um, King of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords. When it comes to them being in this energy of always being grounded, stable, their provider, they're like, no, this coming to an end. They feel like they've hit a wall, like it's a dead end for them to keep working on the situation with where they are. And this person is now choosing. <sighs> wow. Eight of Pentacles. If these people had a business, I feel like the business also came to an end or they're having problems in a business. So this person's like, so... We're stressed out. We're worried about finances. We were together because of the family or the family business. Well, now that we don't have the business, then what, what are we here for? These are these are people who are just realizing that they were together for many, many reasons that had nothing at all to do with them actually liking each other. <laughs> this person now is about to work very, very hard. The star, the page of cups. The Ace of Wands, oh my goodness, and the Nine of Cups, and the Three of Swords is in the reverse. So they're releasing all their pain, all of their baggage to go towards the Two of Cups and the Five of Wands. Somebody hates it. And let me tell you something. This is very specific for somebody. Whoever this man is, because I am picking up a man, this man is determined. I don't know where this obsession here came from. This man is, when I tell you he's obsessed 
with the idea of getting someone pregnant, he's obsessed with it. You have the Ace of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Star. On this Star card, this, per this person does not have clothes on. So, I know a person is not out here foolishly like trying to change their whole life because of a night of passion. I don't think that's what it is. It's some kind of connection here. But this person is like, uh-uh. Whatever they feel... Whatever they've tapped into, they feel like it is absolutely a wish come true. It's the type of joy, just the overall satisfaction that they get from this. For some, there's a child, but with the star and the page of cups, it's like you're making this person, like I said, who was once very analytical, head of you're making this person feel like a child. Like this person, they are stripped down. The star card, there's this person doesn't have any clothes. This person now, they're being their true authentic self. And maybe that's what it is. They feel like they can be themselves. You're not with them because of it's not a situation based on obligation. It's 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 pure desire. Wow. This is bringing a lot of uh, conflict. This conflict is going to be knocking at somebody's door. Because this person is about to just make changes like all of a sudden. I'm telling you, it's like I'm what I'm seeing, right? Somebody just walks in the house and you know, like the island. Some people have an island in their kitchen. This person just walks in the house. They throw their keys like on the island. And they're just like... We need to talk. I don't know if these people, this feels like it could be happening now, the way I'm channeling it, because I'm seeing it. I'm seeing a lady standing in the kitchen. <laughs> there's an island. There's a man. He just walks, he walks in the house. He just throws his keys on the thing. And I don't, she says something and boom, he's just like, you know what? Let's just not do this. Let's just, let's just stop doing this. They're just going back. He's like, let's just not do this. It's like the, he, he picks the keys up like he's about to go back out. I'm seeing a garage door. This this like near the entrance of a kitchen. This person he just picks the keys up like he's about to walk out and she says something and he's like, no, I'm done. Like I said, this is a king of swords. He's not going to say much. He doesn't speak from a place of emotion. He's like, I'm what when a king of swords, queen of swords tells you that they're done, let me tell you something. They're done. Because for them to first of all, for them to get to a, a, a conclusion and a final answer, it's it's final with them. Cause they've already thought about it. They've Played every possible situation scenario out through their mind. They thought about it. Two of Wands. The choice was made. Nine of Wands. This person is staring at this ongoing battle. And they're like, no, it's too much conflict. Five of Wands. It's too much conflict. So the Knight of Swords. I'm telling you, this person is making some different choices. This person is out of their chariot. They are getting back in the car and leaving. They're like, no. Page of swords in the reverse. Yeah, they don't care what it looks like. They don't care what anybody has to say. You can gossip. You can slander their night. They don't care. And this person, they're being very strong, like decisive. But they are acting with haste. Like this, you know, the King of Swords is some someone who may analyze. Like, no. They've already analyzed and they've decided that success for them is elsewhere. Temperance. And the Ten of Cups is in the reverse. So this person is saying, no, they want peace, balance, and harmony. And they can't find it at home. So they're going back to someone that they were once with either this lifetime or in a past lifetime that they've they've met. Yeah, there's no happy home here. There's no happiness.
For some people, they're only together because of the kids with their six of cups here. And because they have a lot of history. Two people could have known each other for the last 10 to 16 years. Here's a 10 of wands. I mean, it's a lot of 10s. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Like something here is just over. Three of wands. There's a lot of anxiety coming in. Fear of sleepless nights. Somebody could have been afraid before to face this situation. They didn't, they were, they, the nine of swords is like hitting your breaking point. I just, I don't know. I mean, strength card. They're having the, the strength and the courage now though. I feel like this could be a masculine who has, done this back and forth thing with this karma plenty of times like this person they leave they come back or they threaten to leave but they never do this time this person they're leaving they're finally finding the strength but again this person's strength is coming from the connection that they have with this person that they met that they met They've gone out and, and found out that it was something much better and more aligned with them. They can't, unfor it's like this person's like, I just, I got to see it through. Yeah, four, four of cups. Whatever they had, they're rejecting it. This person here, there's a connection here. Three of cups, friends, family, people in the community. They're looking at that. But all they can really think about is this offer that's being presented to them. And they're saying, yeah, I want it. They're, they're in motion. They're taking action now to follow their heart. After feeling trapped and restricted for a long time. Yeah, the wheel of fortune is here and the lovers. This person is making a choice. And again, the three of cups is in the reverse. They're turning their back to friends, family, gossip, slander. The decision has been made. Yeah. The world in the reverse. Somebody just feels like they, they can't have success where they are. So now this king of swords, they're actually the king of cups. King of cups. They're thinking with their heart. And they want long term. This person literally is, is about to build a life with somebody else. And they could lose money. Ace of Pentacles and the Sun. They could lose a lot. They don't care. They want to go towards this Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups is something about this person. The way that they, I don't know, I'm hearing mindfulness. You could be a queen of cups, high priestess. You could be any sign, divine feminine. You taught somebody, when they met you, they learned about soul searching. They they became spiritually enlightened. Now they, they know about shadow work, healing, childhood, wounds, issues. They have clarity. The moon is in the reverse. They don't want to juggle anymore. This person is even thinking about the times when they were a player. And they're like, yeah, I don't want to be like that anymore. So the four of swords is in the reverse. They're no longer in this mental conflicted state where they're avoiding healing. They want a peaceful resolution. They're ready now to compromise. They don't want any type of conflict or drama. They just want to manifest a new beginning. And they don't want to be a player anymore. This arrogant, reckless... um. superficial way that they were living before mm -mm. they don't want to do that not at all i mean this person is like two of swords in the reverse like this person is just giving up the seven of wands in the reverse they're just admitting to themselves like I, there's nothing more i can do here that they've done everything to try to block a connection or resist the change of them growing and they see that they've been blocked. Like this person is realizing that the reason why they haven't been able to go into union. Look at this four wands and the emperor. Oh my gosh. Y'all, when I should, ace of cups. 
this person, their sadness, their pain, love for them has been upside down. This person has just been living a life with no kind of love, no emotional attachment. At They've just been completely detached. Look, the four of wands, the emperor, the death card, and then the empress. Uh, five of Pentacles. If somebody has left you out in the cold, you've been separated from someone. If there has been a disconnect, if you feel like there has been a struggle, whatever the case is, when it comes to a connection that you feel for some of you was like a soulmate or twin flame connection, something here is about to be transformed. I would say let go of the control issues. A death card is about endings. Endings bring new beginnings, though. You have the emperor, the empress out here, and the four of wands. I've been getting twin flame energy all day. And then the five of pentacles. But literally, somebody may leave everything behind. Or they may actually lose everything. Because here's the queen of swords and the seven of swords. They may lose everything if they leave this other person. Because whoever they leave behind is going to, for sure, be very, very malicious. And is going to make sure that this person... Loses a lot of their, their resources, especially financial. But this person feels like that's okay. It's, they're like, well, me and Divine Feminine, we can work together, so it's okay. I'm telling you, whoever this is, they just don't care. Like, they're, they're, they're giving up everything to go towards true love. They feel like with somebody that they truly love, whatever they lose, they can get that back tenfold. And I feel like in the past... Whoever they've been with has been threatening them. Maybe with, you know, something with child support, finances, business. Something This person has been blackmailed by whoever their partner is. Now they're like, no, it doesn't matter. And I, I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat and say that they're not leaving someone. I'm not going to say that they're leaving a person to go right towards someone but they have somebody in mind i'll say that <laughs> i'm not going to tell you like oh yeah they're leaving somebody to go straight towards because for some people that's not what their plan was it's just going to happen but for some people it's if this is someone from your past coming back they have you in mind when they make this decision to leave everything behind yeah there are some tough conversations on the horizon here I'm hearing a song called Let Down My Guard. Let me see. This person is wondering if they let down their guard, will you take them? Because they may have to tell you a lot about the situation that they're leaving behind because I do feel like they're going to lose a lot. Um, let me see what they say in this song because I'm hearing it in my head. I don't know the lyrics though. Let down my guard. So this is what they've been concerned about, letting down their guard, but first of all, somebody could be a DJ. This person could be sending you music telepathically because I was trying to find this, um, the, the song lyrics and a whole different song came up. Somebody's name could be Jamie because the song Jamie Foxx, DJ play a love song came up. This person could like to play music for you, send you music. They could be a DJ. The name Jamie could be of significance, but it's DJ, won't you play this girl a love song? She really needs to hear this freaking love song. She's looking at me kind of hard. I can tell the things. And, oh, my God. Spirit is so funny. What did I? It says, I can tell the things aren't right on the home front. What she really needs is a G like me to beat it, be beat it up. So somebody meets a person possibly while they're out and having problems with somebody else. And they're going to pursue 
a whole full-blown relationship like a life with that person. I can see how you want a baby. Wish your man wasn't here with you. I can see <laughs> curiosity got you want to try me. Homeboy can't please you. Yeah. See, mm, yeah, I don't tell me why he did you wrong. This song is very sexual. Child, somebody better not be leaving like they hold like everything behind over passion, but I don't feel like that's all this is. Um I'll be honest. For some, that's how it started. I don't I don't like this energy though because I can see it and I don't want to put my own personal bias in it, but it almost feels like somebody is having problems at home. They go out, they meet somebody, and it's supposed to be like a hookup. They fall in love with the person. Somebody gets pregnant, and boom, they're, they're just together. And, and for me, I'm trying to figure out if this is like what's going to happen in the future or if this is what has already happened. I feel like for some of you, this could have already, like, this could have happened to you. You, and, you could have been with somebody and they chose a third party. That they had a child and they've just been together stuck and, and maybe they're miserable. This person could be trying to come back to you. Like after you went, you lied, you cheated, had a child with somebody else. They're trying to come back to you. Then I'm also picking up, like I said, for some of you, you, you could meet a person and they could be going through something with someone or just for, like recently out of a connection some of you need to be careful because you can meet somebody and they could have just recently had a child and they're not telling you about it. And things are just escalating quickly with the two of you. And you may not know the full story. Then for some of you, you're going to meet a person while things aren't going well for you or, or them in whatever your home situation is. And it could lead to something long term i mean oh my goodness i don't this now the, the more i um this this energy can be very tricky because it sounds a little karmic but it also like i said <laughs> if i took you shopping on the first day would you love me if i showed my scars and told you stories if I let down my guard, would you would you give a thug your heart? If I let down my guard, would you let us fall apart? So some this this could be a this could be a past person or someone new. They're, this man is afraid to get hurt, like because they're putting everything on the line. Yeah, that's what it is. This person is putting everything on the line, and it even says like something about if if they do something on the first night, would you judge me? This situation happened really really fast but i was picking up earlier in the reading for a lot of you this person may try to sleep with you very early on and because you don't sleep with them that's where they're like wow because it feels like this person could kind of be like a a player kind of and they falling in love like they falling in love they want to give up everything everybody friends family lovers Leave the house, the dog, like, this person is, like, crazy in love. This person does not want you to judge them by their past. I'm just sitting here look, reading the lyrics. It's, if I wasn't always legit, used to scam and move them 30s. If I let down my car, would you give me your heart? So this person could have been into some stuff and I feel like whatever they were into before has dried up. This player lifestyle, whatever they were doing for money at some point, whatever, it's like it's it's over. This could be this person's past. For some of you, you know this person. For some of you, you don't. But they definitely have some, some skeletons in their closet and they are madly in love with you. And my goodness, I mean, if you do sleep with this person, 
they 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 are never gonna leave this person is like in love like in fact it's not just infatuation it's like they're in love Price of love. It says here, are you willing to make an investment when it comes to love? Are you ready to pay the toll? Remember that love is not a destination but a journey. This person is like, yeah, I'll pay. <laughs> They're like, yep, I'll pay. An apology. So this could be somebody that you know. They coming in with an apology about some secrets they kept from you. They're holding back some secrets. They feel like they just need to put it all out there on the table. Yeah, drama. I told you, for some of you, this person got somebody. They could have had a child with someone. And for some of you, you have a person. They've been holding back the fact that they love you. There could be misunderstandings. Ego, tension, all kinds of stuff. For some of you, it's like, it's two situations. For some of you, you have a person, they are so afraid to let you know that they're madly in love with you. For some of you, you have a person, they played you in the past, they chose the wrong person. I'm not going to say the wrong person. They chose someone that they're no longer happy with, and now they're like, oh my goodness, I made a mistake. I want to go back. You have your dead end and cloud nine. So something here is a dead end situation. Someone could be leaving something that's like a dead end, but with you, they feel like they're on cloud nine. Reciprocity, gifts and offers, vulnerability, hanging out, divergent dreams, toxic behaviors, brotherhood proposals. <laughs> I know that y'all are going to get so mad at me in the comments when I say this. First of all, this card was not in the deck early, and it's a judgment card. So somebody here is having an awakening. The judgment also can speak sometimes of second chances or looking over the past with some kind of forgiveness. But I'm just going to say, who fell in love with their sneaky link or their mistress? Because that's what I'm getting. I'm sorry. I had to say it. Reciprocity, like, I just feel like it's two people who are. <laughs> Two people are like in their own world, just on cloud nine. In the world. Like somebody here was in a dead end situation. What it really feels like is somebody here is starting a relationship and they're not completely out of another situation. Like they're out of it mentally, emotionally, but maybe they're still there physically. I don't know. But somebody is like, well, let me tell you how it really started. I feel like what their their intentions are pure. But I feel like you don't know the whole truth about how things were when they first met you. And it may be coming up now because there's a situation that is going to ruffle some feathers and obviously it's going to shed light on something that they didn't tell you. Somebody may kind of feel like I need to tell you this before it comes out. On the flip side, some of you, a person that they're just going crazy because they're madly in love with you. But it, it feels like whatever, whether it's a past person, somebody new, them being in love with you is going to create drama because of whoever their ex is. But somebody, they're so vulnerable with you. They want to give you everything like. <sighs> it's just two very different people who are coming together like perfectly imperfect like you and this person is just hanging out and this person's like man i don't want to be toxic anymore they're talking to their bros about it and before you know they're like yeah let, i'm just gonna propose it's this is so weird it's like <laughs> back and forth energy one minute you love them you can't stay it's like can't live with them can't live without them Yeah, it just feels like, I feel like these two people are possibly meant to be together, if, especially if this is a newer person. 
But before y'all can go all in, they need to be honest with you about something from the past. This could be even somebody like they didn't tell you the full story on when or how they broke up. Like somebody could have told you that they were out of a relationship, but the first few weeks or something like that, like they were still living with the person and you just didn't know because y'all were always meeting up or, you know, they, they may need to come in and tell you that, you know, it was, it was a time when they went over there for a night of passion or something like that. I feel like if this person has done anything to you since they figured out these feelings, they have, they are regretful about it. And it's eating at their conscience. Like, they're not proud of something that they've done, but it seems like they've done something and they know for a sure fact. Child, look at this. Now, you see these cards are not supposed to be in here. What do we have? True love. Whatever they did that they may be hiding from you, longing, they really, really regret it. falling in love it's two situations out here somebody you for some of you a person from your past they did something it was a secret you found out about it they are they are regretful because they got caught some of you somebody is falling in love with you they know you're their true love they could have done something too or withheld some information and they cannot wait to tell you that they love you <laughs> because this is a divine union I don't know if this is a past person, somebody new, or both of them. Whoever you are, you got a lot of people in love with you. That's all I'm saying. And somebody, if at least two people really want to marry you, like now. True love, longing, and soulmate. It is safe to trust in this situation. Support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. I'm telling you, somebody's talking to their friends, family, like, what should I do? How should I approach this person? Boundaries. You could have put boundaries up with this person. It's time to make a decision now. Everything happens for a reason. And this is a destined partnership. This relationship can stand the test of time. Stability. So whatever happened in the background, whatever secret or whatever for some of you, Spirit is saying you can get you can work through it, you can get past it. It's a twin flame connection. And this does not have to be someone, you guys, that you've been with before. This could be someone fairly new or even someone you haven't met. I'm gonna leave it here. Oh, this was so chaotic. It was so chaotic because you guys you have multiple people in your energy and they all want the same thing. They all want a divine union with you. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it here though. Um be compassionate about the past. Forgive yourself. Forgive other people. You're not obligated to return to your past. But, you know, if the past is what's for you, everything happens for a reason. Maybe it's something you should forgive. But also, if you are dealing with someone new, try not to judge them too harshly by their past because you wouldn't want them to do that to you. Okay? Um all I can say is try to give people grace and mercy and be discerning. Something here is, is destined, but it's up to you. And you have choices and options. It's your decision. Always go within so that you never go without. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.